If you walk around some of the malls in the central region, you probably would have noticed each mall having some empty retail units available for rent. Without the tourists, the central malls are depending on locals to survive. But with job security of locals in question, due to dynamic economic conditions and COVID-19 restrictions, the road to freedom is like shifting sand in a desert and water mirages. What is happening recently that caused these questions and uncertainties? Stay on to find out more. Purgatory, a place or state of suffering inhabited by the souls of sinners who are expiating their sins before going to heaven. Economic purgatory is the sense of hopelessness in the eyes waiting for retail starvation when looking at retailers in malls and wet market. Once upon a time, there were statements that were thrown out about the high levels of efficacy for some new vaccines. And if we were to reach a certain percentage of vaccinated level, life would slowly transit to a new normal, and we would have reached herd immunity. It was a steady tune being sung and promoted. When the target was reached, we even went out and did a second National Day celebration, suggesting that a milestone had been reached and light at the end of tunnel is near. As the reopening commenced, suddenly the cases picked up and the reopening story turned rancid before it could be fully savored. Measures have been imposed in what has been termed the stabilization phase. Seniors have been asked to jab themselves again with these same vaccines that will keep the antibodies supposedly at high levels now wanes in time. High efficacy is no longer the hot marketing buzzword being sprinkled generously. Suddenly, the moon on the ground has turned as seniors are asked to batten down the hatches and go into hiding. Businesses are asked to hang in there a little longer. People are asked to put their life on hold again. And perhaps what is not so good, now there is no roadmap, path, vision, or balm that you can apply to soothe the pain. These are difficult moments for everyone. There is an air of uncertainty that lingers like a bad fart in crowded bus or MRT. You can't escape, and you can only curse under your breath. Perhaps what is making the ground sour is that this time the infections are within the community. Dormitory workers were once the main source of infection numbers last year, and were thus vaccinated, are also testing positive in recent days. Every night, some well-meaning friends and clients message me the COVID-19 case numbers and ask about implications. All I can say is that it seems like a daily affair, and sometimes wonder whatever happened to the talk about flattening the curve or how CB would make the virus die out. Historians are always hated. Their memory is selective for all the wrong reasons. If their memory is always right, they usually excel and become politicians. The video is just for a random musing. I could be mistaken about my perception on the ground conditions in the central malls and in the wet markets. My reading of the frustrations that people are going through could also be due to echo chamber effect from various WhatsApp chat groups of people serving QO and from reading the news online. Stay safe and stay sane. Somehow, we will get there. Just keep watching The Walking Dead. Perhaps that is the definition of endemic living. Do nibble on index stocks like UOL, OCBC, Thai Beverage, Capital Corp, and STI ETF. There will come a point where governments will cave in and proceed to reopen, and while it will take time, a recovery will take root. Like any kind of storm or natural disaster, it too will pass. Just hang in there for the better tomorrow, but be selective. This video is for your information only. It is not meant to constitute financial advice. Please leave a comment, click on the subscribe button, or simply like this video. Fortis Fortuna Adiyabad. Eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. See you in the next video.